I had been working very hard on our Project Quantum work and needed a break and so I went to a dance party and there was this really magical installation there that brought everybody together. So I thought this would be a great thing to bring to an event. I started floating the idea around and it really caught fire. So we created this installation, this light installation that people can take control of. Our first installation of this is focusing on WebAssembly and particularly Rust compiled to WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a way to run programming languages besides just JavaScript in the browser. That is great. It gives you high performance. It makes it possible for you to use the same code base, like a C or C++ code base, on the web. But one problem is that some web developers don't really understand how WebAssembly works. When you're working with JavaScript, your memory is handled for you. When you're working with WebAssembly, you are working more directly with memory. Well, this space actually gives a good mental model for how you work with, with WebAssembly's memory. Well, I thought this would be a great way to give people an introduction to WebAssembly. One of the things that's exciting is, is that they're available today, but it's still early days. Like, I feel like I'm getting in in WebAssembly on the ground floor. Well, it's shipping in four browsers, so something like 90% of, of browsers out there. Um, but I think people are still trying to uh, figure out all the different ways they can use it and lo unlock its full potential. I think there's a lot of really awesome things that, that WebAssembly is going to provide. I mean, firstly, WebAssembly is, is, is highly performant. Having the ability to take the, the processing uh, heavy portions of your JavaScript and be able to rewrite them in WebAssembly is going to make your applications more performant. And oftentimes we think of performance as like, gotta go fast, and like that's super cool, but performance is also an accessibility issue.